Okay, this is the camcorder, uh, as you can see, and a 4K. It's supposed to be 48 megapixels, uh, still image recording, uh, touch panel, night shot. Uh, it's supposed to be 4K Ultra HD. It says it's 4K Ultra HD, but it's not, uh, as you'll see when I actually show you. Um, has an active force battery on the back. Press the button in. That's it. And then that just clips off. Sorry, that just clips off there, look. Put that back on. Um, start, stop button. That's stop and stop recording. On the top. If we look over here. Uh, there's two buttons here. One says mode. Can't see it because of the light. Okay, right, so that says mode. Uh, that's a change in different modes on the camcorder. That says photo, so if you want to take a photo while you're recording, you just click that. That's your zoom, so zooming in and out. Uh, if we look on the front, it's uh, supposed to have 16 times uh, zoom. Um, that's where your UV comes from, V night vision. Um, it's your frame rate, 3.2. Uh, that's your frame size, so 7.36mm. Um, when it's charging, it'll it'll say it's charging. And then when it's uh, recording, it'll say busy. Uh, the light will come on. I think it's a blue light. If we open it up, the power comes on automatically. Um, if we look on the side... We have a menu button for changing the menu. Uh, we have a, a viewing button. That's basically for viewing recordings and anything, any pictures that you've taken. Power button, so you can turn it on and off. Uh, that's to show you, uh, basically for Wi-Fi in your display. Uh, your directional buttons and you're okay. You also have a SD card slot here um, for your SD card. Also, if you go underneath, you have a secondary slot for a second SD card there, so you can actually have two SD cards. So that's pretty cool, I think. Um, there's a little bit on the bottom as well. I don't know if you can see that very well, though. Uh, let's see if I can get it. Yep, so you can probably just see that now. So it shows you the model number and everything. Um, if we go back here and flip this little cover off, you can see it's uh, got a HDMI port. USB port and it's got an AUX port just there as well uh, for your video. Um, you can't put an external microphone onto this unfortunately um, but we'll see see how it sounds um, with the standard microphone that it's got. It's also a bit of a pain to push that back down because you have to make sure that it lines up perfectly. Okay so if we look at the um, if we look at the actual screen um, we go through menu. We have we can change resolution. It's got loop recording, motion detection. I don't really know why you'd want to use motion detection on a uh, camcorder unless you're using it for CCTV. But then if you wanted CCTV, it'd be better just buying a cheap CCTV camera. To be fair, uh, date stamp. That's so you can put your um, time and date on your uh, videos or your photos. Um, Wi-Fi, so if you want your Wi-Fi on and off, uh, connecting up to your actual Wi-Fi. Date and time yet again, so you can set the date and time of your camcorder. Um, you can automatically choose to power your camcorder off should you wish to. Uh, there's a beep sound, not sure what that's for, but let's have a look. Oh, that'll be that'll be for um, so when you start recording and stop recording, it'll beep. Um, I'm going to leave it off because that'll be annoying. Language, so you can set your language. Um, obviously, going to stay with English. TV mode, um, so you can choose NTSC or PAL. Better off staying with NTSC as it's better quality than it PAL is. Oops, uh, let's go back to that. Uh, change your frequency from 50 to 60 hertz. Um, 
I'll leave it at 50 hertz as we're in the UK and um, our electricity tends to run on 50 hertz. So it's the only reason I'd choose that. Format, you can choose to format your card. Um, don't really need to. So we'll go back to me. It is a little bit annoying though because they don't have a, an exit button on this. So when you click on something, you have to click the menu button to come uh, to actually go back a step. Uh, default settings, and that one there will just show you your version. Um, so I'll just show you what version you're on. Okay, uh, you can also view uh, view any recordings and stuff, and that you've done via that button, etc. Um, etc. Et so we'll power it off, and then um, I'll show you what it looks like when you're actually um, recording with it on the uh, different modes.